Hello everyone, I'm Zach, and today I'm going to react to and review Emma Cook and Andre Reu performing Voila by Barbara Pravi live in Maastricht. One of my viewers suggested this performance to me after watching my reaction to Lara Fabian singing Broken Vow, and I'm really excited to see it. Also, I recently listened to this song, and I like everything about it, from the instrumentation, to Barbara's vocals, to the lyrics. Let's get into it. Écoute-moi, moi la chanteuse à demi parler de moi à vos amours à vos amis parlez-le de cette fille aussi morte et de son rêve fou She sounds pretty, not gonna lie C'est un cri à l'histoire qui arrive jusqu'à vous C'est tout Voilà, voilà A multitasking conductor. That's something you don't see every day. I forgot to mention this, but Emma's 15 in the video. With that being said, it's incredible that she's singing like that. I mean, the way she began singing in a delicate tone before the intense projection by the second chorus was not only wonderful, but I can really feel the emotional vulnerability she's putting on full display within this performance, as the song is about opening up to a loved one. Plus, I like how Andre is conducting the orchestra and the chorus to capture the elegant yet grandiose vibe, while holding his violin and bow in one hand and watching Emma sing at the same time. So far, I'm impressed. Ne partez pas. Je vous supplie, restez longtemps. Ça me sourit très pas, non. Me faire se foucher pas comme Et moi, pour le venir, qui se va pour toujours. Je fais quand même parce que moi je sais pas il me mime comme tout. Voilà, 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 voilà qui je suis. Mais voilà même ici, mes amis je pourrais. Mais voilà tout le bruit et nous le vivons. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
different apartments in the original version at all. And yet, I really like it. Emma's magnificent belting enhances the song as the vocal technique allowed her to pour out more of her desperate emotions as a loved one is getting ready to move on with their life without giving closure between the two of them. On top of that, her vocalizations before the pause are really mesmerizing and her stage presence is compelling as she used her dramatic hand gestures as a way to connect to the song even more. This is really solid. I do not expect that key change. The key change made the song and the performance even better, as it made the vibe more melancholic. Not to mention that Emma's long note at the very end gave me chills. Even though this performance was recorded some time last year, this might be one of my favorite performances I've seen this year so far. The fact that Emma was 15 when she performed this song is astonishing because her vocals, emotional connection, and stage presence are very mature for her age. And trust me, that is a huge compliment. Her vocal dynamics and her connection to her song really go hand in hand as the smooth transition from her soft tone singing to her belting epitomize how she is gradually pouring out her emotions toward her neglectful loved one. As for her stage presence, the way she used her hand gestures while standing still reminded me of the way professional opera singers perform. Very dramatic, yet sophisticated. I also want to point out that Andre didn't, uh, did an amazing job conducting the orchestra and the chorus because they captured the wistful vibe while being pitch perfect, especially during the key change. This is truly an outstanding performance. Thank you all very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please check out Emma and Andre's video link in the description box below and take care.